If you want to rank on Google, you can do it immediately. You can. This is not clickbait, but there's two primary ways to do it. The one way is to have very, very, very strong website, right? Maybe that's not you, but I have clients that have websites that are extremely strong. They've been around for 10, 20 years, and they dominate. Anything we put up there is going to rank high immediately. Then there's the other way, and this is the video where I teach you the other way. So as you probably know, ChatGPT has the code interpreter. All you have to do is toggle it on here, have ChatGPT4, and right here, code interpreter beta. This thing is going to change the way you do SEO. So listen to me. There's different types of SEOs, like people, actual people. There's different types of them. Some are experts at this. Some are experts at that. And I have the unique privilege of meeting a lot of these people, a lot of these people. And one in particular type of SEO is the data collector. I think of them as that Marvel character. Who is that person? I'm going to put them on the screen. I don't, I have to figure out the name. Who is that? Put it in the comments. Who is this person? The collector, is that their name? Anyways, that type of SEO is going to be perfect for what I'm going to show you next. So have you ever seen this? This is Google's data set search. Pretty cool, right? We can type anything in here. Let's do, let's just do Pokemon. All right, Pokemon. Let's see what you come up with, Google. So look, 100 plus data sets found. As ChatGPT progresses, which is a large language model, you need to realize you're going to have capabilities you've never had before. So you better pay attention. This is going to come into play big time. So depending upon your niche, you're going to be able to happen upon really good data sets. So I found one here for you know a niche of dogs. Dog behavior analysis data set interest in but i kept going until i found this one here and this is on kaggle right i can sign up with my google account dog breeds a data set with information about dog breeds right so when i get this this is what it looks like i download it it has a hundred and what 18 rows it has all these different parameters so let's take that there's a little button here that i pressed and i imported the excel file dog breeds i'm going to say please read this file let me know general trends that you see and let's just roll with it let's see what ChatGPT can do can it even read the chart to begin with because if it can how can we use that for seo to rank higher on our website so here's what it output right finished working it'll show you the python the code that it came up with how it you know views the file very nice it seems there may be an issue with the data it says the columns height and longevity contain dates in some entries okay so it's saying that's an issue let's look at it so it said longevity look at that it did read it it has dates in it very very interesting now this next part surprised me a lot i didn't know ChatGPT was capable of some of the things that i set out to do it did more than i thought it could do but i want to set the record straight we're talking about dogs here in this video check out this video if you haven't seen it someone accused me of not being a dog person how could you not know benadryl is used for you know dogs allergies i don't know i'm a dog person i've had like five let's set the record straight so i asked ChatGPT to create a new metric to compare every dog from a scale from one to ten what I'm trying to do here is create new data for Google to love. So I said, scale it from one to 10 on their indoor fr uh, family friendliness, focus on how each of them are cared for, the shedding habits, da, 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 all these things. And this is what it said, to create this new metric, we'll need to consider these factors, ease of care, shedding habits, temperament with kids and exercise needs. However, the data set doesn't have all these things we can do. Uh, it said, let's proceed with what we have and infer some general trends. And I said, great, go for it. Okay. And it said, finished working. Let's show the work. It's doing all these fancy things. And it said, based on our scoring system, and this is where I'm going to need your help, right? I don't know everything about dogs. Here are the top five dog breeds that are most indoor family friendly. Basset Hound, Great Dane, that's a humongous dog. Irish Wolfhound, Newfoundland, and this dog. Are these dogs, tell me in the comments, are those dogs, these ones right here, are they good? Like, are those the top five for real? Like, I know that's a huge dog here, and this is not, these are not small dogs either. Are these the top five breeds that are most indoor family friendly? I don't think so. So I kept going with it. Create a table and score all the dogs in the data set from one to 10. And it said, okay, here, here it is. Basset Hound, Great Dane, 10 out of 10, and it goes, dot 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 i don't like the dot 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 that just means it skipped all the middle parts and gave me like the bottom okay 117 rows in total okay we got problems i said i need a row for every dog we're rolling with it here it is again it says i'm like come on man so i said yes please export it because here's the thing this is what's cool this is what blew me away i didn't know we could do this 
Please note, blah, blah, blah. However, the data can be exported into a CSV or Excel file for few viewing. Uh, would you like me to do that? I'm like, heck yeah. And here it is. I mean, that's, what is it? A hundred, yeah, 118 sorted by their, you know, metrics. And here's what they're saying. Basset Hound, Great Dane, all these ones, Golden Retriever. I know that's a great one. Ridgeback, this one. Tell me in the comments, are these like truly great indoor family-friendly breeds? They're saying the worst ones are down here. Rottweiler, German Shepherd, Malinois, to Toy Poodle, Poodle, Standard Poodle. Chihuahua, et cetera. Very interesting. I'm curious. Let me know, is this data correct? It's hard to really score this, but if I were to put this on a website, would people freak out like, those are not the best, or they are? So let me know in the comments, did ChatGPT take that data and sort it well? Maybe it was a bad prompt on my end, but here's the point. If you can give Google raw data, new data it's never seen before, and how did we do that? We did that by combining a data set and asking ChatGPT to come up with a new ranking mechanism. If you do that in your niche, you are providing Google with new data, absolute new data. And guess what? That's a backlink attractor as well. Now I'm going to teach you another technique. Let's go to Ahrefs. You're going to like this one. Keywords explore the best matching terms. If you need to pause or rewatch the video, please do. But this is going to show us all the best. So these are listicles. The best zoos in the US, the best all-inclusive resorts in the Caribbean. Cool, really cool. But then we're going to do this 15 DR in the top five. That means that we know that low competition websites or low authority websites are ranking for this stuff. And we have 23,000 keywords. That's a huge amount. 1.4 million volume. But what are we going to do with it? We're going to push it to ChatGPT. So I ask it, tell me a set of articles that I can write about this in Excel. So I took the first 1,000 rows of that best match in terms, and I'm asking it, tell me a set of articles I can write about in Excel that can be used on one website. That's the key. So it said, first, let me read it. And it says, it seems like an issue. And then it suggests the CSV is not structured well. But if finally, it says, great, now we have successfully loaded the data. All right. And it has all the rows. It understands what it is. And I need to make a point when you import documents, it's not using that 8,000, you know, token limit. And that matters a lot. Use your imagination on how you can use this. Think about it. You upload a file and it's over here, right? ChatGPT has a storage limit, but that does not affect the general storage limit, that 8,000 or, or 4,000 character token limit. So moving on, it says using this data, we can suggest article topics. The suggestion can be based on these things like uh, popularity, difficulty, blah, blah, blah. So it said based on the data from the CSV file. So it shows our work here, right? Great. I don't, you know, I don't know what all that means, but it's kind of cool. Based on the data, here are 10 potential article topics you could consider. I was like, great. Okay. You gave me all of these ones right here. The best goalkeeper in the world, the best beer, the best engineer, but that doesn't help me. Please note that these are topics or suggestion. Great. So I was like, Find topics that could be suitable under one website. I need things that can work synergistically from a topical authority standpoint. This is me begging ChatGPT to understand. I need content hubs, right? Understood, it says, first line. To find topics that work synergistically under one website, we need to find a common theme. I'm thinking to myself, awesome. So it says, let's start by examining the parent keyword column because Ahrefs supplies the parent keyword column. That's like a parameter it supplies. So it gives us, here's the top most common parent keywords which could serve as potential themes. I'm all for it. Places to visit, uh, best chefs in the world, best tire brands, government phone companies, San Antonio. So this kind of goes off the hitch there. But anyways, it's going, it's going, it's going. Here are the top keywords related to the best chefs in the world. Um, but these are just variants, right? This is like the same thing. That's the same article. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. And it's here's some article names you could have for. I'm like, oh, come on. So this is good, but I need you to compile exact keywords from the Excel and use those. So yet again, it spit out those. So that was my bad. Not a great prompt. Scan the entire Excel data and find more keywords that relate to this niche of cooking. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. All right, still the best chefs in the world stuff, but what is the best last meal to eat before C-section? Who's the best chef in the world again? Best cooks in the world, same thing. Best pickled eggs recipes in the world. So ChatGPT does read the document. Like we're testing it here. It does. There's so many implications. This is just high level stuff. Keep going. Provide 100 keywords in this niche from this Excel. Exclude ones that are similar such as that. So I want them to exclude that, right? Let's get out of this. So it's like, I apologize. I can't find 100. I apologize. Can't find 100. Same thing over and over again. If you cannot get 100 keywords, then provide as many within that niche as possible. And here's what it provides. Not bad. 
Not bad. Some of it kind of stinks, but not bad at all. So let's keep going. Let's start over, right? So we're going to start over and let's try something new. So back in Ahrefs, we have the best. You see it up here, the best, right? But let's include, let's include Hawaii. Do you see this above my head? Hawaii, apply. Boom, Hawaii. Let's see what happens here. We had the best just general match in terms, which is just like a huge data set, but let's refine it to Hawaii. Very nice. Very, very nice. So now we have 3,200 keywords and only 36,000, uh, 36, sorry, volume. Let's take this. Let's push it to ChatGPT. See this button here? Export. Let's export and go. All right. Uploaded. Let's press it. And I gave it a prompt right off the bat. And let's let's be clear. Okay. It appears you've uploaded a file name, blah, blah, blah. It's probably going to struggle a little bit. May I proceed to read? Yes. Proceed to read the file. Absolutely. That's why we're here. So this is not only a thousand rows. The first one was a thousand. This one's like 3,200, like I was showing you. We gave it the whole data set. So let's see here. It seems like there's an issue. All right, we're going to get through this code and error just as we did before with Ahrefs, and let's see what it does. So it was giving me a hard time. ChatGPT did not like that file. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete some rows here. Let, let's delete it. Last updated. Uh, global traffic. Do I need that traffic potential? Let's do this. Let's delete that. Let's make it the country. We don't need that. Let's make it as best and as lightweight as possible so we can see if ChatGPT can handle it. Now we're looking good. So I say I have a travel blog and want to write on Hawaii. List out the top 50 articles I should write. Make sure there's no keyword cannibalization, right? And it read it. It's like, ooh, I got all these things. And then it's given us the 50 articles. Very interesting. Let's read these things. Best time to visit, to go to Hawaii. It did not understand the keyword cannibalization. One is the best time to travel to Hawaii. Like, like, do you see? These are all the same article, just like very small variants, right? So what I'm going to have to do, how are we going to do this? Let's ask ChatGPT. Let's tell ChatGPT. Let's say, look here. Let's say that list had a lot of keyword cannibalization. Is that how you say? Do you understand what I mean? Uh, let's see what it says. Let's see. Yes, I understand. Refers to situation. Yes. Yes. Uh, many of the suggested topics do indeed overlap significantly. Uh, to avoid keyword cannibalization, we should try to create a list of topics that target distinct keywords. I'm all for it. So ChatGPT seems more intelligent. I was very concerned there for a while that ChatGPT was, was getting less and less and less and like ChatGPT4 seemed to be uh, more more or less intelligent or stupider or stupider a word than it was but this looks pretty good let's see what it does work in work in let's see here we go look at this this is not bad it says i it's apologizing to us i apologize for the confusion earlier uh, upon further analysis to avoid keyword cannibalization i have grouped similar keywords together and chosen a representative keyword from each group that's really good holy moly look at that when is the best time to go to Hawaii? Which Hawaii island is best? Best places to stay on the big island? Best restaurants, da da da. That is good. Now, we're doing it a little further. These are great. Give me more and make sure to include the volume for each. Look at this stuff. This is good. Wow. Wow, let's say, um, give me more articles to write about on the big island. That's where I lived for a while. Let's see if it can do it. Can you do it? Uh, let's consider some specific aspects. No, 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 no. I need you to provide big island keywords from the data I gave you. So that was just trying to give us just generalized like, oh, okay, I'll give you some articles. I'll give you some articles. Here's some article ideas. No, I don't care about that. I need data driven decisions and how we do that is have it reference that packet we gave it so imagine this ChatGPT has like what we're used to over here like our prompt like we type it type over here but you can just embed or import a, a data file over here and it keeps references back it's really powerful really cool let's see what it has going on best places to stay on the big island restaurants um, i'm impressed give me more give me more there has to be more based on the data oh uh, it is. It already did. It's answered its own questions. Hello, what the heck, ChatGPT? That's wonderful. Let's proceed with that. I'm like, okay, let's. Uh, you're thinking for yourself. You're, you're a robot, and you're thinking for yourself. Let's see what it does. So here's the first four, right? And it gave us five more. But there's a little duplication. Like this one here was a duplicate, but it gave us more. Now let's change it up. Give me articles to write based on the data. Let's change it up. What we're going to do here is test ChatGPT, if it can just pivot really quick, check it out. Data on the island um, of Oahu. 
Let's see if it can just pivot. We're talking about Big Island. We're talking about Big Island. Give me stuff on Oahu, right? Totally different island. Can it do it? Can it reference the data easily, quickly, without issue? And it does, and it's not bad. So here's five of them. The best part of the island to stay on Oahu. Um, but listen, it says, please note that the volume of searches for these topics was not provided in the data. And that's true. We call those zero volume keywords. And that's okay. You can go after them. In fact, that's a strategy, right? An avalanche strategy to go after these. Very impressed. So let's say, give me more. And let's see what it does. Let's just review these as it works. What is the best time to visit Oahu? So best time to travel to. Eh, see, that's a little bit of keyword cannibalization. I wish it would just remember what we asked it. The best phone service on Oahu, Hawaii to collect calls from jail. Jeez Louise. The best Airbnb review in Oahu, Hawaii. Nice. Um, so we asked it, give me more. I apologize for the confusion, but it appears there's no additional keywords. Well, let's see about that. Let's go to our Excel spreadsheet and let's see if it's lying to us. So after a quick little search, Oahu, it was only mentioned 30 times. So it may or may not have been, it's surprising to me, right, Oahu. But what we could have done is just go to Ahrefs, right? We could have gone to Ahrefs over here and we could have typed in right here, Oahu, right? I'll move my big head out of the way in a second. Actually, I'll just keep it there. We could have just refined it there. So what you have to do is mix and match the different things that ChatGPT can do now, right? Ahrefs would give us uh, 488 keywords on Oahu. So as you niche down and down and down, it's easier to compete. But realize, if you can provide Google with new data, that's the key, and structure it in a way that no one's ever seen before. Create your own metric. The www.com uh, dog rating friendliness.com thingamabob. Make a new metric based upon real data. You can even reference that data and Google's gonna love you for it. Now, check out this video. I'm telling you, you need to check out this video because as things become easier for SEOs, you just saw that was not hard to do at all. My time has been expedited 10, 20, 30 fold because I utilize these things. I quicken my pace. But this video right here will teach you things that are still hard to, to duplicate. It still takes brains it still takes hard work and time. So check that out. That's going to be a way for you to future-proof yourself. And now make sure to check out Word Galaxy on the way out too. That's an AI content tool we just created. Pretty cool stuff. It can spit out articles faster than you can believe. And anyways, I'll check you on the next one. And thank you for watching.